first. Tom drives one high and deep right field. Get up and get out. Hayden is done. The Rockies win it. Of course, that was just one of the many highlights that covered Todd Helton's baseball career. Well, now he sits on the precipice of baseball immortality. It is tomorrow. The 2023 class of inductees will be announced from the Baseball Hall of Fame. Todd Helton is one of the very top candidates. So here to talk about it is me as longtime baseball writer for the Denver Post, good friend of mine, Patrick Saunders. Thank you for coming in today. Sure. Let's get right to it. Is he going to get in? I'm, I'm going to break some hearts, Tom, but I think he's going to get close, but I think he's going to fall a little bit short. I think 2024 is the year he gets in. I hope I'm wrong, but I just, the trends historically, even though he's tracking the, like he's going to make it, right. only about half the vote is known, and I think he's going to come up a little short. It's going to be about this time tomorrow when we learn yeah. who is in, in this class. Uh, you had a chance to communicate with him a little today. He sounds... For Todd Helton, like he's a bit on pins and needles. He doesn't get on pins and needles very much, but it sounds like he's, he's nervous. He is nervous. You know, he's, he's going to be home in Knoxville with his family. Mm -hmm. No big party, no watch party. And I, you know, communicated with Todd today. I said, are you nervous? He said, of course I'm nervous, <laughs> you know, because it's a big deal. You know, and Todd's been out of the game since 2013. And the longer guys get away from the game, I think the more they realize that recognition, that baseball immortality is huge. And Todd, Todd feels that. But this is also his fifth year of eligibility, and his eligibility is really soared when you consider when he started. I think he was barely out of single digits, and now he's going to get somewhere around 75% of the vote. Exactly. I'm guessing, you know, he needs 75% to get in um, by the Baseball Writers Association vote. Um, I'm hoping he makes it. And I'm, I talked to Ryan Thibodeau, who runs that Baseball right. Hall of Fame tracker, and he told me today he thinks it's going to be pins and needles. I mean, it's going to be close for Todd. Are you a voter? Yes, I am. And how long have you voted now? Only two years, believe it or not, okay. because you have to have 10 consecutive years. And I was an editor, which interrupted my... Years of covering the game. And yeah. so I had to start from scratch. You voted for Todd both of times? Of course, yes. Yeah. You see him as a Hall of Famer. I, mean, I do. The 369 home runs, 25 hits, uh, what he meant to this town. Uh, you know, he certainly play, played like a Hall of Famer, at least in the eyes of the people who watch the Rockies. Well, I agree. And one of the things I've always said, Tom, is to me it's the Hall of Fame. It's not just the Hall of Statistics. Mm -hmm. And when a player like Todd Helton, and it's so rare in this day and age, gives his entire career and everything to a franchise for 17 seasons, as Todd did, and produces the way Todd did, to me, he's a Hall of Famer. A lot of the East Coast voters, they don't see it that way. They see Coors Field and baseball at altitude. Right and everything else, uh, I think they're misguided. I think Todd's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's a career 316 hitter. Yep. I mean, that's hard to do. And 2000 was his best year. He drove in on nearly 150 runs. He led the league in hitting at 372. But 2007 had to be his favorite year. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, you, we showed at the beginning the, uh, that home run he hit, which started the, the streak, the Rocktober streak. Uh, and we all remember the iconic thing with Todd, you know, you know making the catch to clinched the NL pennant with his hands over his head and yeah he was he was so emotional after that game you're exactly right 07 was his favorite season you know it's funny we're looking at some of these pictures from 07 and we're going to have that iconic photograph here in a second and when there you look at this picture when you talk about iconic photos in Denver sports history this is on the short list no question right this one I know Helen Richardson took it for the post she did yeah and, yeah and she did just, uh, there are many versions of it. Hers was the best. She was a little higher. But it just, you think of, of this guy and, and what he meant to this town and to baseball because the baseball ride here has, you know, been the fun of expansion through that World Series of 07. And it hasn't been a fun ride the last few years. But Todd Helton, like, because I get to do the show with Jim Sacamano talking about the glory days of the Broncos. Of so when you have a 5 and 12 season, you know, the Super Bowls sound pretty good. And when you look at Todd Helton in those days of, of Rocktober and the like, that was the, the sweetest spot in baseball here. Oh, it was. And it was one of the most improbable, incredible runs in all of baseball history. You know, the Rockies had a nice little run in 17 and 18, but since then it's been, it's been pretty bad. And at least the Helton conversation 
gives us something to talk about regarding yeah. Colorado Rock. Well, well, that's what I mean. I, sometimes, sometimes the past offers you that, that wonderful window into to what might be again as well. But uh, we're really excited about Todd Helton's uh, chances tomorrow. And uh, it won't be his last chance if he doesn't make it. But uh, we'll be following the vote for you. And again, uh, if you want to read more about it, uh, Patrick had a chance to talk, uh, text, I guess, with uh, Todd Helton today and share some of that in the Denver Post. Just posted that online. So thanks as always. You're sure welcome, It's great Tom. to see you. You Patrick too, man. Saunders from the Denver Post.